Hey everyone, Mix here from Big Watch Buyers. Today we're taking a deep dive into the, one of the most coveted and iconic luxury watches out there, the Patek Philippe Aquanaut. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting to explore the world of high-end timepieces, the Aquanaut is a model that's definitely worth your attention. So let's get into it. Tech Philippe Aquanaut was first introduced in 1997, which in watch years makes it relatively a young model, especially when you consider Patek Philippe's history that stretches back to like 1839. Uh, but don't let it uh, fool you. This watch has been quickly rising to iconic status. Uh, it was designed as a modern sportier alternative to the Nautilus, uh, which is another Patek Philippe classic. When it first came out, the Aquanaut was revolutionary for a couple of reasons. First, it was the first Patek Philippe watch to feature a rubber strap. A uh, pretty bold move for a brand known for its traditional elegant timepieces. And the strap, known as the tropical strap, was not only durable and water resistant, but also had this cool embossed checkerboard pattern that matched the dial. The whole look was more casual and approachable, you know, quite distinctly still Patek Philippe. Over the years, the Aquanaut has seen various updates and versions, but it has always stayed true to its roots, luxury with a touch of adventure. The 2017 release, the Aquanaut Travel Time 5164R, is a perfect example. It introduced a dual time zone complication, making it ideal for the modern jet setter. And let's be honest, that rose gold case with the chocolate brown dial is just stunning. Now let's talk about who's been spotted wearing this iconic piece. The Aquanaut has graced the wrists of some pretty high profile individuals. For example, NBA superstar LeBron James has been seen wearing one. No big surprise there since he's known for his love of luxury watches. Rapper Drake, another luxury watch aficionado, has also been photographed rocking an Aquanaut and let's not forget about Ed Sheeran, who has been spotted uh, with an Aquanaut on more than one occasion. These celebrities aren't just wearing a watch, they're making a statement. Now, let's dive into some history and talk about how the Aquanaut has appreciated over the years. When it was first released in the late 90s, the Aquanaut was seen as more affordable entry point into the world of Patek Philippe though affordable is relative when we're talking about this brand. Over the years, however, the Aquanaut's value has skyrocketed. Um, the demand for these watches, especially for limited edition models, has driven up prices significantly. In fact, in the pre-owned market, you're likely to pay a premium well above the original retail price, depending on the model and condition. Now, it's worth mentioning this fun fact, in my opinion. Um, these two men's versions are uh, about $80,000 and 65K, but this woman's version with the factory diamond bezel is a quartz movement, and it goes for about 50K. So I guess just like when you're uh, getting a gift for a kid, if this is a gift, don't forget to uh, buy a couple of Duracell batteries and add you know, $10 on top on the price. Just know it. <laughs> What makes the Aquanaut so special? It's a combination of factors. First, there's the design. It's sleek, modern, yet unmistakably Patek Philippe. The rounded octagon-like case is a nod to the Nautilus, but it's a bit more understated. The dial with its embossed pattern is both unique and instantly recognizable. And then there's the movement. Patek Philippe is known for their incredible craftsmanship and the Aquanaut is no exception. And inside you'll find some of the most reliable and beautifully finished movements in the industry. But the Aquanaut isn't just about looks and mechanics. It's also about versatility. This is a watch that can transition seamlessly from the boardroom to the beach. It's sporty enough for casual wear, yet elegant enough to pair with the suit and that's part of the reason why so many people from athletes to artists to executives are drawn to it the aquino might be one of the most interesting watches in patek philippe's lineup in some people's opinions 
uh, it's a little bit of rebel in a brand known for its tradition, yet it carries all the hallmarks of Patek Philippe quality and prestige. Now let's be honest, who wouldn't want to wear a watch that combines luxury, history, and a dash of adventure? By the way, if you're wondering what I'm wearing today, it's a super classy, thin uh, Patek Philippe ellipse, okay? It goes for about 20, 29 grand, and it's beautiful. It's so sleek, man, and you can't even feel that you're wearing one, but it definitely still makes a statement. And they started making these in 1968, so if you want to snag one, we might have one for you still. Hit us up. Now let me ask you guys, what do you prefer? One of the Patek Philippe popular watches and models like the Aquanaut, uh, or something like this that's more rare? The Patek Philippe's are rare and often hard to get. So if you're getting a pre-loved, <laughs> pre-owned one uh, from somewhere, you can get them with the paperwork, you know, and with this beautiful, beautiful box. I mean, look at this, it's heavy. You're not gonna lose it unless you took it on your yacht and while carrying it there, slipped and fell and, and the watch ended up in the ocean and then you had to send a diver to find it just like we saw on Instagram today. <laughs> anyway, you can get this box. Oh man, this carries some weight, you know what I mean? So whether you're considering adding an Aquanaut to your collection or just curious about what makes it so special, I hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into one of the most iconic luxury watches of our time. Thanks for joining me here at Big Watch Buyers. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button for more watch content. Until next time, keep ticking in style.